So many useful electronic components can be salvaged from an old laptop charger that can be used in so many DIY projects. First I will desolder all the electronic components and then I will explain each one in detail. Without any further delay, let's get started. First, let's start with the PS30 SM100 SD Power Short Key Rectifier. I salvaged two of these. This single short key rectifier is suited for high frequency switch mode power supply. This device is intended to be used in notebook, game station and desktop adopters. Providing in these applications a good efficiency at both low and high loads. A is for the datasheet pin number 1 and pin number 3 are internally connected and are the inode pins, while pin number 2 or the metal leg is the cathode. So this is basically a dual short key diode with common cathode and is used in high current applications. This device has an average forward current of 30 amps and repetitive peak reverse voltage of 100 volts. The package consists of two diodes in parallel, increasing the current rating and reducing the package size and cost. Since the short key diodes are faster and efficient, low voltage drop, they are commonly preferred over normal diodes provided the reverse voltage is need not to be high. So this is basically a full wave rectifier as you can see, which I'm sure you are quite familiar with. As you can see, the two cathodes are connected together at point C and has two anodes A and B are connected with the secondary side of the center tape transformer. So now I'm sure you know how to use the PS30 SM100 SD power short key rectifier. This is the U4K8 full wheel bridge rectifier. As per the data sheet, the U4K8 full wave bridge rectifier has the maximum repetitive reverse voltage of 800 volts, maximum RMS 
bridge input voltage is 560 volts and the DC reverse voltage is 800 volts. The average rectified forward current is from 3 to 4 amps. The first leg is the positive. The middle two legs are the AC input lines while the fourth leg is the negative or ground leg. Its use is just like the other bridge rectifiers like the one you can see on the screen. This one also have four legs which are labeled with the AC plus and minus signs. I've used this type of the bridge rectifier in so many projects. I will add a few links in the description if in case you want to check. This is the basic circuit diagram as you can see the secondary side AC wires are connected with the AC pins of the U4K8 full wave bridge rectifier while the plus and minus pins are connected with the plus and ground legs of the decoupling capacitor. This capacitor is necessary for the smooth DC as this capacitor filter out the AC components. The 15 in 65 C3 is a 16 amps and 650 volts in channel enhancement mode power field effect transistor which provides superior switching performance and withstand high energy pulse in the avalanche and computation mode. This MOSFET is well suited for high efficient switched mode power supplies and active power vector correction. If you want to know more about this MOSFET, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. These are the electromagnetic interference EMI or radio frequency interference RFI suppression capacitors. X2 class is for the interference suppression and these capacitors are used across the AC input lines to suppress electrical noise by reducing the input impedance of the device incorporating the capacitor. The X2 type capacitors are used in applications where the peak voltage is less than 1200 volts. The TTC474 is a thermistor temperature sensor, very cost effective and has a wide resistance range of 470,000 ohms. The operating temperature range is from minus 40 to plus 125 centigrade. This temperature sensor can be used in different projects like for example a temperature controlled fan, overheat protection, temperature alarm and so on. This is the circuit diagram which I have explained in very detail. I recommend you should read this article if you want to learn how to use the TTC474 thermistor. This is the PC123 optocoupler. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to use an optocoupler to control an LED and how to control the speed of a DC fan. You can find a link in the description. This is the MP-130i 05 transformer with multiple tapes. Using this transformer we can make a power supply for the Arduino and to power up other electronic devices. These are the polarized electrolyte and non-polarized capacitors and some heat sinks. I hope you have learned something from this video. For more detailed discussion, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.